Take you down to Texas right now. The Governor Greg Abbott today declaring a state of emergency as at least 29 people test positive in that state for the virus. I want to assure the people of Texas that we're going to make it through this. We've been through situations like this before. We made it through SARS. We made it through Ebola. We made it through H1N1. This is not a death sentence we're dealing with here. So with me tonight, Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. And sir, thank you for your time. I know you guys are sure, Bill. Uh, rolling this out as we go. So let's play it in real time. Yes. D does that emergency yes. declaration change or help or assist uh, with anything you're doing in Texas tonight, sir? Abs absolutely, Bill. First of all, it allows us to expand all of our state resources that are available to us, which are significant where needed and when needed. So if we have a, a breakout in a particular area, we can move to that area. Secondly, uh, we are relaxing rules to expand telemedicine. We're very good at that in Texas to begin with, but we want to enlarge that. We told the attorney general to prosecute anyone who's price gouging, and we're restricting visitation to daycare centers, to nursing homes, to hospitals, and to prisons. And we've asked insurance companies to waive co-pays. And so far, I think most have come along, and I think all will come along. Well, sir, do you think you're, you think you're ahead of it right now, or you think you're behind it right now? I mentioned the 39 cases. We can show the various counties sure. to the state of Texas. How would you sure. gauge that at the moment? Uh, Bill, I think we are ahead of it. Uh, Governor Abbott and our entire emergency team and medical team have done an excellent job of preparing us. Uh, I will tell you, it was interesting tonight, earlier on Fox, I saw the governor from Ohio talk about their modeling shows about 100,000 cases, potentially. And uh, the modeling that I have, that I've worked with with people, I'm looking at about maybe 300,000 cases that are serious cases, which would be three times Ohio. We're about three times the size of Ohio with 30 million people. If you extrapolate that out, Bill, if 60%, and we don't know these final numbers, if 60% of our 30 million uh, contract the virus, that's 18 million people, and about 2 to 3%, which have been the critical numbers mostly that we're seeing, our state numbers and national numbers, and we haven't had any critical cases yet in deaths, but the U.S. cases and the, and the national cases, that's about where we are. So if you look at that, Bill, a state like Texas, we could have 300,000 uh, critical cases over the next 12 to 18 months. You know, that could work out to, you know, a, uh, you know, a thousand a day uh, in a given month, and uh, we're yeah, prepared huge, for that. Huge and significant it's challenge. why we have to flatten out yeah, right. this curve uh, you, to, you to make sure Ohio. they don't all come at once. Uh, they're closing yeah. schools in Ohio. You're not doing that in yes. Texas. Uh, you're well, leaving that to, it, to local leaders. We're to leaving that, that to the district. How come? Yes. Uh, well, we believe in local control. Uh, we believe that the best people to make those decisions, Bill, we have 1,200 school districts in the state. We have 6 million kids in, in schools, more kids in school than many states have people. So we leave that up into the individuals. And I will tell you that I think the school districts are being very responsible. Most are either uh, canceling classes, expanding spring break. Some have been on, some have been off. And so they are adjusting to that, uh, as are our higher uh, uh, levels of education. So, Bill, I think we're very prepared, but people need to understand the seriousness of this and I think what the president has done and what and what we've done here in Texas and other states have done by eliminating all of these big events to hold down these numbers again I gave you some general numbers uh -huh. 60 percent of 30 million is 18 million but we don't know what those numbers are but what we've done at the federal level by the president and here in Texas we're reducing those levels to flatten out that curve we must flatten out that curve because look at America Bill, we I, have 924,000 yeah. hospital beds and yeah, in Texas I mean, you're right about that. We can't have them all. We're going to go to the Cleveland Clinic on that topic in a couple minutes here. But uh, just yes. uh, I would just put up some bullet points for what you're doing in Texas yeah. about how you're combating the virus. Schools, yeah. universities, government entities changing schedules. Uh, some venues right. temporarily closing, increasing right. lab testing capacity, cities banning gatherings of 500 or more, encouraging companies yes. to provide flexible work and telework policies. A lot of that's happening in many other states. Here's what I think is intriguing is the drive-through yes. testing areas in San Antonio, yep. Dallas, Houston, and Austin. When will they yes. be working up and functioning, sir? San Antonio started today, Bill, and, and I, and I uh, congratulate the mayor down there for uh, initiating that uh, along with the state, and we're expanding them around the state. Um, we, are, we are being very proactive, and, uh, and, and we are prepared for this, Bill. Um, uh, we're, we are, uh, you know, one of the things, Bill, okay, that, sir, I, that I, I look at. Okay, sir, I apologize the okay. interruption. You I, I mentioned this top of the show, Speaker Pelosi now.